What's up? I'm Richard, and this is I Am Dumb. I Am Dumb is an acronym. That's D-O-B-M. Diary of a Black Man. I'm a black man, and this is my diary. Today, we're, we're continuing with a, a semi-series, you could call it, on my grandfather. Grandpa's how. Uh, the way we kind of got to that place is we looked at, why well, specifically, looked at myself and so many other people who've kind of figured out the what. Man, what is it that you're called for? What is it that you're created to do, man? What is it you're trying to do? What, or even, not even that, not even that deep. They figured out what they're trying to do right now. Like, man, I'm trying to get a car. I'm trying to get a television. I'm trying to own a home. I'm trying to start a business. I, I, whatever it is, they figured out. They have a goal set in front of them. So many of us, though, are stopped right there. We got a goal. We just don't know how the hell to get it done. Well, looking at my grandfather, we have my grandfather's how, right? My grandfather, uh, as I spoke about last week, always did things kind of specific and methodical when he had something to do. He would first figure out what he needed, and then he'd lay it all out. And what he didn't have, he would go about going to get. Then he'd do the job. We're still at the first part identifying what we need. Really, again, we're stuck. We're stuck at what? Now we're figuring out how. First thing, again, I got to identify the tools I need to get the job done. Well, looking at that, it's two parts, really. Two parts to figuring out if a tool is right for us. We know we need a hammer, but what is the right hammer? Quality and fit. Two parts of quality, or really like a million different parts about quality, but the thing that stands out the most to me, quality means cost, right? The best quality things cost the most, right? So figuring out what I need, figure out what I got. Can I afford this tool? And if I can't afford this tool, can I afford a cheaper variation? Will this cheaper variation still allow me to get the job done? And what, will I, what do I need extra to make up for the lack in quality? Well then, fit. And I think we're gonna fit it, spend a little bit more time with fit today than anything, honestly, because, <laughs> man, I got a crazy lesson. My grandfather, again, this kind of surrounding and thinking all about him, his birthday's in December, so I really have him on my mind. Uh, <laughs> my grandfather told me a story. Uh, as I got older, I learned that all his stories came from one source. Uh, but when I was younger, he didn't, and he tried to jazz it up to make it different, and, and, and it was cool. But uh, the story's always stuck with me, and I, I'll share it. Um, he was explaining the right fit. The right fit. I was frustrated about playing on one AAU team, and I wanted to play on another AAU team. Uh, he was telling me that it's possible that I fit better where I was playing. Um, you know, I didn't want to hear that, but either way, he told me this story. He said... There was this young guy um, who really wasn't nobody, but he had a best friend who, whose father was a leader of a, a big gang in their area. Well, that gang was beefing with another gang, but the other gang was much bigger, much larger, much more intimidating, just bigger people, uh, more resources, uh, just everything. Well, they kept getting into it over the years and over the years and over the years, and the young gentleman who was just hanging out uh, came along in the middle of a, a real heated altercation. And because he had so much respect for his best friend and his best friend's father, um, because he saw them so high, you know, he saw them as tough, mighty men, uh, he couldn't even believe it. it was getting pumped like that. Well, the other gang had uh, three leaders, really triplets, real big dudes, real big dudes, man. And they was being so disrespectful. So he came like, man, if y'all ain't gonna say nothing, man, I can't handle this, man. I'ma handle it, I'ma handle it. And at first they laughed at it, and they didn't think he was serious. Well then, uh, they start taking him serious, and like, man, you wanna go out there and get beat down? Go out there and get beat down. Um, so they give him guns and knives and, you know, all types of equipment to go out there strapped up to, you know, put him up. And um, at first he goes to try. I mean, really, he turns to go, and he like, man, I can't, this gun is too big. and. Like, what is, nigga, I can't even move like I'm used to. I can't get him with, you know, man, forget this. Let me take this stuff off, man. Take this stuff off, man. They're like, man, you tripping. 
The little nigga goes and grabs three rocks. Three rocks. Little nigga goes and grabs three rocks and a slingshot. <laughs> three rocks and a slingshot. Talks a little stuff to the niggas, so they paying attention. They're laughing at his little weapon too. He, bow, hit the first big nigga, the leader, in a temple, knocks him dead right there. The rest of everybody run. They scatter. They gone. Amazing story, right? But the reality is, what it taught me, what it made me think about is, man, that just fit him. That was his thing, that was his tool. If we figure out the quality tool that we need to get the job done and combine it with what fits us the best, we've then identified specifically and exactly what we need to get where we're going, man. I guess if there's a lesson from I Am Dumb today, um, it's the same lesson from the story um, that is the story of David. Take it for ourselves, man. Take it for me. Like, I don't want what's for everybody else if it don't fit for me. You know, I, I, there is no use in having the best steel-toed boots to climb in the coal mine if they're too big or too small. In reality, they then become a, a harm to me, a danger to me. What's right for me, what's perfect for me, um, as a combination of the quality that I can afford to spend for, and it fits perfectly into whatever I need it to fit into. But either way, you know, I'm just richer, and I am done.